Welcome to Balanced Body Podcast. I'm Dr. Brent Anderson, physical therapist and specialist in Pilates for Rehabilitation here at Polestar Pilates in sunny Miami. And I wanted to share with you a couple concepts about working with the hip. Uh, patients that have suffered from hip problems, particularly impingement or intraarticular problems uh, like a labral tear, uh, do very well on the Pilates equipment, but we have to be very careful. And certain things we want to avoid in our treatment would be anything with a long lever in front of the hip that would create excessive stress over the hip and the anterior flexing structures. On the other hand, some exercises we want to do are things that have to do with hip extension. So I've asked Jamie to join me and to help me demonstrate a couple exercises, one in particular called scooter, and then we're going to move into a couple other exercises. The first one was scooter. Notice how the concept is to work with the extension. So that the heavier the springs, actually the better because it engages the hip extensors, which is going to relieve or reciprocally inhibit the hip flexors, which is what we're really looking to do with these people that have anterior hip pain. The other thing that has to happen here is she must use her abdominal muscles to draw up in front to be able to maintain the length of the spine in the back. And by doing that also increases the inhibition of the anterior muscles of the hip. The next exercise that I want to show with Jamie is by taking the hands away from the foot bar. This increases the challenge to her stability, not only on the abdominal wall and the trunk, but also on the stance leg. So it's a very good exercise for her working the standing muscles on her, on her right hip. From here, we can progress into the exercise in more of a quadruped position on the reformer or a plank position. So let's bring your hands onto here. And I'm going to have her come up into the pike position as if we were getting ready to do the, the plank position. So push all the way out into the plank. Again, now we have that nice balance of the anterior abdominal wall working, and it's going to be her hip extensors and her quadriceps that are pushing out on the machine. So from here, I'm going to have her push back with her arms a little bit, and now allow the knees to bend in, keeping the pelvis quiet, and push out multiple times. Again, working on hip extension and quadriceps to relieve the hip flexors. Stronger abdominal wall also inhibits hip flexors. Great. Come on down. The next exercise, the last exercise I want to do is to take you over to the trapeze table. So this last exercise I wanted to show you in the trapeze table to release those anterior hip muscles is in prone with the tower bar sprung from below. Again, whenever we spring the tower bar from below, it's very important that we always use a safety strap first. Uh, this helps prevent injuries not only to the patient but also to yourselves. If you get caught underneath there and it slips off her foot, it could cause a, a, a nice bruise on that shoulder of yours. So we want to start by putting her in a quadruped position over the box. This is the easiest place to start. And just bring her foot up to the bar. And what we're doing here now is we're going to really recruit the hip extensors and uh, both the glutes and the hamstrings while maintaining the pelvis quiet on the box. So let me have you go ahead, Jamie, and press that leg up towards the ceiling enough and back down. Let's repeat that three or four times. And again, by using the hip extensors, we have a reciprocal inhibition of the hip flexors, which is usually where people are suffering that anterior hip pain and impingement. Great exercise and relax. Now, we can also make this a little more challenging just by slipping the box out, doing the same exact exercise and having her in a quadruped position. <clears throat> she can also, let's go down on your elbows actually, make this a little more exciting. So bringing this foot up. Now this is going to allow more range of motion by lowering the front of the body. So she's going to have a little bit more extension in her hip available to her. Press up towards the ceiling. Keeping the abdominal wall in check. Now we have that same thing we saw in the scooter and in the jackrabbit that forced her to use her abdominal wall to be able to stabilize the pelvis while she uses her extensors to release the hip flexor. So it's sort of like a chain event that uh, helps release that anterior hip. Let's do one more of those and relax. All right. So in recap, uh, looking at the idea of working with the dancer's hip or any of the injured, any injured hips, uh, the particular problem we tend to see is an excessive amount of guarding and tightening in the anterior hip. And so our goal with those three exercises we just showed you is really to get an inhibition, not necessarily strengthen the hip, to get an inhibition of those muscles that often are over-recruited when the hip loses its congruency. So we restore congruency, we strengthen hip extension, we inhibit the anterior, and we avoid long lever exercises with that leg, for example, like single knee stretch or teaser that would often aggravate an anterior hip problem. 
This is Brandy Anderson bringing you a podcast for Balanced Body. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.